Even married, this man was kissing the maid in the kitchen. The two kissed passionately and even considered going further. But before that happened, the man's wife called out to her husband and the two stopped what they were doing. She says she's ready to go to the restaurant and asks if her husband has already dressed up too. The boss is a nice woman and greets the maid. Also, she says that she doesn't need to prepare breakfast, and that she can even take the day off since she and the husband will be out all day. With a cynical smile, her husband's mistress thanks the boss for her kindness. She then calls her husband to leave, and he, equally cynical, feigns excitement while the maid was getting ready and checking her work uniform. The man goes to her and says that later they can finish what they started, and they kiss again. He finally leaves with his wife. Hours later, after the two arrived from the mall, the maid was still cleaning the house. The always kind boss was fiddling with her cell phone and decided to call the employee to sit on the couch. The young boss reveals that she is preparing a surprise for her husband because of their wedding anniversary and says that she intends to present him with an iPhone. Not very happy, she says her boss, Adriano, will love it. The woman says that she is very anxious about the surprise and also curious to know what she will get from her husband. Not suspecting the affair between the two, she asks if her husband didn't tell what he was going to give for her and the underhanded maid says she hasn't heard anything from him. The boss then reveals that she likes the employee very much and says that she is very grateful for her loyalty. She says she knows that the maid's family lives far away, but she says that the employee is not alone as she has her and her husband as friends. The woman surprises the maid and says that when she becomes pregnant, she would like the couple's son to have the maid as a second mother as she is very special to the family. She continues, saying that the maid will get a salary increase as her husband was promoted at work and she wants the employee to achieve financial independence and repeats how much the two like her and that she will be by the employee's side whenever she needs it, no matter what happens. The maid is clearly embarrassed and says she doesn't deserve to be treated so well. The boss doesn't seem to understand and says that of course she deserves to earn more and live better. She remains kind and says she will go shopping now and invites the maid to come along so the two can have fun as friends. The employee is then excited about the opportunity and accepts the invitation. The next day, wearing the new clothes she had bought with her boss, the maid was doing the dishes. The man notices that she is beautiful and doesn't think twice about hugging her from behind. But this time she refuses to kiss him an attitude that confuses him, and she explains that she doesn't want his wife to see them that way. But the man without any scruples says that she need not worry and he tries to kiss her again. He is confused and says that at other times they have kissed with his wife at home, but she refuses and says they need to talk. The maid reveals that she no longer intends to continue this relationship. Adriano laughs at her and says she doesn't have that right, but the maid says that this is her wish and that it will be so. The man, however, is aggressive and grabs her by the arm, but she resists and says she doesn't want to continue with it because her boss Laura is a very kind person who has always treated her very well. What they did, she says, was a mistake, and this relationship must end for everyone's sake. Adriano grabs her arm again and repeats that she doesn't have that right and threat her of dismissal. He says that the wife won't mind when she finds out that the maid is a thief. She is confused and asks what he is saying. Adriano says it will be his word against hers. The maid shows to be truly sorry and says that she will tell the whole truth to the mistress. Adriano shows his aggressive side once again and yells at the poor maid. He says he will go to work, but when he comes back, he hopes she has pretended that none of this happened and claims that at night he will pick her up from her room. He leaves and the maid is in a difficult dilemma, not knowing what to do. Before leaving, Adriano seems to be up to something. He takes a watch and puts it on an outfit without revealing what he intends to do. A little later, the wife gets out of bed, goes to the living room, and notices that the maid is looking sad. Nervous, she reveals that she needs to tell some things to the boss who is available for the employee. The two go to the couch and sit down facing each other. The maid clearly nervous about the situation and apologizing all the time, says that she was in a relationship with her husband. The revelation leaves the boss surprised and open-mouthed. She doesn't believe her husband was cheating on her with her dear employee, whom she treated as a friend. Soon after, the husband comes home from work and is startled to see the two women talking on the couch. The wife greets him screaming and asks how he had the courage to do that to her. The husband asks her to calm down and always cynical, says that nothing the maid said is true, but the employee is not silent and says that enough lies. 
She reveals that she told her boss everything. Adriano tells the maid to keep quiet and never tired of lying, says that the maid made up the story to hide that she is a thief. And the naive wife seems to believe, but Adriano had a plan and asks her to show her what she keeps in her apron pocket. She gets confused and starts feeling her apron. She discovers that in one of the pockets is Adriano's watch. The wife asks what is going on and the husband tries to take advantage of the situation. He says he caught the maid robbing the couple's room and that she threatened him with lying about them having an affair. Adriano lies more and says he didn't say anything because he wanted to give it a second chance. The wife is outraged and Adriano takes advantage of it even more. The cynical husband says that when this happened, the wife was sleeping. The wife actually believes Adriano and calls the maid a thief and ungrateful. The employee tries to explain herself, but he interrupts her and says that she was aiming to deceive his wife and end their marriage. Almost crying, the boss says that she will never forget what the maid did to her and that she regrets having treated the humble woman as a real friend. She then takes the poor woman by the arm aggressively and leads her to the street without giving her a chance to explain herself. The employee is thrown on the street, sad and humiliated by such a revolting situation. Days later, a neighbor knocks on the apartment door and is welcomed by Adriano's wife. She asks if it would be possible to get some sugar and the always nice woman says she can make herself comfortable. In the kitchen, the neighbor asks where the maid is. She is confused as that woman had worked in the house for years and seemed to be very competent. The woman then reveals that the employee was fired after she discovered that the maid was a thief and that she even tried to convince her that she had a relationship with her husband. The neighbor feigns surprise, but remembers that on one occasion she had caught her husband and the maid kissing in the hallway of the apartment. But at the time she pretended she hadn't seen anything. And she decides to tell what she saw and claims that the maid wasn't making anything up. The wife is confused once again and the neighbor reveals that she was thinking of telling, but that she did not want to intrude on someone else's marriage, but apologizes for this decision. Perplexed, THW wife asks if then the maid had told the truth and the neighbor confirms that she did. And the woman starts crying, not believing that her husband was able to do this to her. Sooner or later, the truth always comes out. What the maid did wasn't right, but Adriana wanted to blame her for something she didn't do. Anyway, they both hurt me. And what I'm sure is that I don't want people who don't respect me. I hope they change for the better and regret how disloyal they were.